Hello and welcome to a new episode of Journey to the Chateau. Rome wasn't built in a day and neither was this chateau renovated in a day. So it's continuing in the entrance hall. It is three, basically three stories tall and I'm just looking up right now. <laughs> so we're doing it. Bonsoir à tous. Bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Cologne. Und nun zu unseren Freunden aus dem deutschsprachigen Raum. Die Renovierung der Eingangshalle geht weiter. Rom ist nicht in einem Tag gebaut worden und die Eingangshalle ist auch nicht in einem Tag renoviert. <laughs> right, so we are here today again in our entrance hall at yep. the Chateau, where we are continuing to do more uh, renovation and restoration in the in the entrance hall. Yes. And uh, <laughs> after Pla uh, Patrick did all the work with the plastering on the walls, uh, as he had said, I think in the previous episode, that next he wanted to tackle the ceilings. <sighs> yes. Right. Good, bad, and ugly. <laughs> and if you forget uh, a certain spot on the ceiling, you will uh, live to regret it. Have a look. Good morning. <laughs> Working in the entrance hall at the chateau. And what are you putting on the ceiling right now? I'm, uh, well, this is, so this is a fine plastered ceiling. So it's lovely Parisian plaster. It's really pretty. Um, and I'm glad I'm not doing something different than plastering and sanding and plastering. I've done that now for three weeks. I'm sick and tired of it. So this, I'm sealing this in. This is PVA. Um, right, and for those who don't know, PVA is a, an adhesive sealer that's used here quite a bit. It's colorless, odorless, uh, non-toxic, biodegradable coating. It's multi-surface. It's used for plaster, stone, concrete, and drywall. And for those who have been asking, uh, Patrick did use PVA on the walls in the sheet when he, before he did the wallpaper because it's a sealant and it puts a coating on the drywall before the wallpaper went up. But you did have some issues with places where you noticed that the you didn't quite get the PVA coated all the way. We had that experience. I started upstairs with a corner because I had still paint on the boulder. And within an hour, it all flaked off. Lovely. So what you do is you, you seal basically the, the plaster and then you can paint. And uh, that's the next step. And I'm really excited to get the ceiling uh, in, a, in a very, very light, light and pearl uh, color. So it's not pearlescent, but it's, um, it's not a, a white white, because as we said before, we're not using bright white. Right. Because it um, wasn't existing in existence in the 1640s, and uh, so this is really interesting because how dark this is when it is absorbed by the plaster. So, and I have, and I'm, if you're asking why am I using a small roller, I'm not insane, but I can actually have much more control over what I'm doing, and uh, it's less wasteful. So there. Okay.
so here we go. It's the part of the ceiling, the little uh, entrance, the entrance hall, it's the lower ceiling under the staircase. There you go. And I painted this and I did not, uh, well, I put PVA on it, which is a sealant. <laughs> apparently, um, here you see the setup, the ladder. Uh, and apparently I did not paint, uh, seal the plaster right above my head, which I'm going to do now. <laughs> but first I have to sand what I did here, scrape it off and then sand it so it looks nice and smooth. Uh, pretty sad, isn't it? Another day, another project. Yes. Which we put off for months. It's true. We've had everything to do this for quite a while. I just forgot about it and didn't find the time. So. And the parts then. And the, yes, couldn't couldn't find the parts when we wanted to do it. Yes. But it is also um, well. So it's all about the bell, which is an old servant's bell from a chateau that we purchased at the Pocante. Mm -hmm. And we have no doorbell in, in the chateau. So for the back door, we decided to do this. Now, when the doors are closed, it might not be heard, but at least we're making an effort, right? Right. Okay. So I put this on here just to see how this could look. So we're going with as high as possible. Right. Well, that's pretty visible. Okay. If you keep that up, the ladies' mate will show up. So the easy part is done, just not that easy, but no, it's the ground, the ground floor level. 
Now I'm looking up, this is about 30 feet high up, which we need to reach, taking down the remainder of the wallpaper. Um, oh, good Lord. Plastering up there. Yeah. <laughs> and then sanding and painting. The ceiling needs to be um, finished up there. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be, what, another week? Right. And we are going to, uh, because of a suggestion, actually, that we had from one of the comments. Yes, a viewer. Yes. Uh, we have, I think we have figured out a way that we can actually use our scaffolding uh, on the staircase by building a platform. Yes. Out of uh, a pallet that we have, and we have plenty or of two. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have plenty of them here. So I'm going to work on putting that together so we can get our scaffolding up there. Yeah, so that would be fantastic. Right. And it's so nice to see all this progress, and it looks so airy and sleek and really lovely. And that, that so there is going to be some more French gray in this mm -hmm. hall, which is su such a lovely color. I mean, and I, I know. You might be sick and tired of me saying that, but it's such a beautiful gray. Yeah, we so are. we're getting there. We are. So uh, not too long ago, we were invited to go to see Terry and Ash at La La, 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 La Salle. And we also got to meet uh, Tracy and Jonathan yes. while we were there. And we had the honor of being some of the first people who got to stay in the 400 suite. Yes.
So what can we say about the 400 suite in our stay at La La Salle? Yeah, it was fantastic. It's beautiful. They did such a great job. It's, the detail work they did and the, the love and, and work and sweat that went into this, absolutely amazing. So um, I hope we're going to be invited back. <laughs> it was just absolutely lovely. Uh, meeting Tracy and Jonathan was such a treat too. But yeah. the suite is... Phenomenal. The, I mean, you, you come in there and you see this beautiful entrance and then you have your little sitting room mm. and a uh, beautiful bedroom and your bathroom. Stunning. Just amazing. And this is why I love this. And um, when we were at uh, La Londe, it's, all these chateaux are so different. That's why this makes it so wonderful that... Mm. You know, we have all different visions for our own chateau. And, right. and uh, Terry and Ash have had such a um, uh, tough time to get, because of, of the challenges they faced, to get to where they are. Uh, and it, it's, it's a joy. So, uh, if you um, can go there, well, not this year, because it... <laughs> They're not open yet, but absolutely. Right. Do. If you're lucky enough to get to stay there, I yes, think, yes, you, you definitely should. Yeah, beautiful. So we did want to mention one thing. We have, I know, we have got a lot of pro different projects going on, <laughs> dozens of projects <laughs> going on at the same time. So one thing that we did want to mention, you know, we had started to work on doing the fountain, and the one thing that we did want to mention is is that uh, right now that project's kind of at a standstill because, in case you haven't heard. The weather here in France has not been good. Well, not for fun building. <laughs> not for fashion building. Not for anything outside, actually. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, unfortunately, there has been a lot of flooding. For us, uh, I think we're actually fortunate. Yes. That for us, it's a, it's more of an inconvenience than anything else. Sure. But for a lot of people, the flooding has been just a really, really bad problem. Yeah. And we have seen that all over France uh, whenever we go somewhere to stores or whatever, we see horrible problems with flooding here yeah. in, in France. So, uh, hoping that we have better weather so we can actually get back to the fountain. <laughs> yes, please. Yes. So that's it for this episode. Uh, if you like, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and recommend us to your friends and uh, click the bell so you can get um... notifications. Oh yeah, those. That <laughs> <laughs> if you want to support the renovation of the chateau, you can join us on Patreon. Or there is this thing that's called Buy Me Coffee, which also helps us to um, finance whatever we're doing here. And we will see you on Friday. Absolutely. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you'd like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.